Thank you. Why do I have to be a cult hero? Why can't I just be a hero? <laughs> just gotta throw that in there, huh? Uh, as Terry said, I grew up in Plymouth, a small town uh, about 25 miles south of South Bend in Notre Dame. And, uh, and near the end of my senior year, I was being recruited pretty heavily. You know, the story goes I wasn't being recruited, which I wasn't early on. But near the end, I was. And uh, a man named Bill Norton was an assistant coach here and had come down to see me play and turned it over to Judd. And Judd, uh, I guess it's uh, fair to say a reluctant recruiter in certain instances. And he came down to see me play in Fort Wayne in the morning. Uh, we played two games, 11 o'clock and 8 o'clock. And after the 11 o'clock game, he was on his way back, back to East Lansing. I mean, I was done. He was uh, you know, thinking that guy can't play. And he stopped in a, in a, like a convenience store. And, and somebody recognized him and happened to say, what are you doing down here? And he said, oh, I came to see that Skiles kid from Plymouth. And the guy in the store said, that guy's great. Judd turned around, came back, saw me play that night. And, and uh, I'm thankful he did. Uh, <laughs> He came into my home a couple weeks later, and, uh, and as Terry said, he pretty much broke it down for me. You know, you're slow, you're white, you can't jump. <laughs> Room, board, and books, and we'll see if you can play a little bit. And, uh, and at that point, I really liked that and, and hit it off with him uh, right away, obviously. Uh, 25 years ago this month is when I uh, enrolled in school. It's, it's painful for me to say, but... Uh, and when I think back, the prevailing thought that comes into my head is, boy, was I stupid. <laughs> and I was kind of the dangerous stupid because I thought I knew everything and stupid at the same time, and uh, uh, as evidenced by a lot of the mistakes I made. And, and uh, some of the, I guess, I guess we all went to school and kind of grew up in college. And the, uh, the trauma uh, is the only word I can think of, uh, obviously, from my terrible decisions. Uh, <laughs> help form me and, and you know, it was, it was rough at the time, uh, but I realized as time went on, it was the best thing that could have happened to me. Um, uh, something else that was pretty much a daily trauma uh, in the locker room at, at the time, uh, not a great locker room in Jenison, but there was a scale right inside the door. Uh, and every day like clockwork, about 15 minutes after practice, here came Judd as naked as the day he was born, uh, <laughs> limping in there and I, I know it's, it's going to be shocking to everybody, but he had a couple body parts that were not flattering uh, naked. <laughs> so, you know, when you see that every day from a small town in Indiana, the rest of your life, whatever you see, it that doesn't seem as bad. Um, you know, as, as everybody else said, th this, is, this is one of those things that it's hard to put words to. Um, I've been very fortunate in my life. I, I'm doing exactly what I wanted to do. When I was very small, six, seven, eight years old, I wanted to play as long as I could. Uh, coach, I knew I wanted to coach, uh, and, and everything's worked out for me. I, I don't believe too much in luck. I think hard work makes your luck. But the fortunate side of it, I've had so many people touch my life uh, in, in a positive way, and, and they still do. And um, I won't you know, even attempt to name them all. I just, like when I got my jersey retired, I hope that when people see my plaque, you know, they think of my coaches and my teammates because when you play a team sport, you know, you, you just can't uh, be honored uh, without those kind of people. Um, I don't have many, fa many family members here today. Actually, I only have one, my wife, Kim. Kim could stand up. And then also with me, uh, uh, for a period of time, there were two Jim Boylans as assistant coaches here at Michigan State, junior and senior. And Jim, Jim Sr., Jim Boylan, is now my number one assistant coach for the Chicago Bulls and his wife, Jane. His wife Jane, his wife Jane, uh, they were kind enough to uh, to come here and enjoy this with me. So enjoy the game and thanks so much.